everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. Hey, this is a classic matchup. Boxer versus brawler. It has played out going back over a hundred years in the sport. Many would say probably the most classical matchup in the sport. I love to look at a matchup like this, and historically the fans enjoy it because the strengths are also the weaknesses of both fighters. You know, the boxy wants to stay on the outside and be able to catch somebody coming in. But when the brawler gets close, now all of a sudden, he makes that boxer very uncomfortable. Zones in on that overhand right. Lewis's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Good right hand. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch to that computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Good flush one-two tab and a straight hand by Mike Tyson. Flush right hand to the head. Lewis's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? The midst of the straight right. Lewis is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Lewis is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Tyson's jab lands well. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. What impact from that uppercut by Lewis. Tyson's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. And now he scores well with a straight right. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Not able to connect with the uppercut. There's a straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Mike Tyson showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. Excellent one-two by Mike Tyson. Tyson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good exchange. He fires back. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Two, three, four. Let's go now. And he catches a lucky break. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. Tyson's got a 
the cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Irons cranked by an uppercut. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing. That big, big shot he just scored with. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Two, three, four, five. Lewis is rising back up. That takes some guts. Hey, Carries that punch intended for the head. A well-timed right hand by Lewis. Lewis is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Flush right hand to the body. And now he's targeting upstairs. Lewis is tagged. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. Mike Tyson's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you put the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. What an excellent two-punch combo by Lewis. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That's great stuff. He fires one. Good, solid right hand land. Big shot there. He never saw that coming. Lewis is knocked down by a punch that came from out of left field. That was like Haley's Comet. You won't be seeing that again for about 10 years. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's and it's all over. Mike Tyson's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Bye, knockouts. He's probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be marked down. It's going to last in the annals of this sport. I mean, this matches up with any of the great knockouts ever in this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.